Hey folks, it's David Bourne, and I'm here to talk to you about a new idea. I'm actually writing a book about something called the Creative Quad. And it's really a way of looking at the creative process and helping you to solve some of the problems that come up whenever you are within the creative process. And believe me, if you have been creative, which of course you are because you're a human being, you know that there are many snags that we hit along the way. So writing a book, you can imagine, uh, my first book, in fact, you can imagine I'm hitting a lot of snags. So my goal uh, on this project was to take a look at this idea. This is not something I know a ton about, but I was super intrigued by this idea that I call the Creator Quad. And I'm going to sh draw it for you so you can see um, what it looks like. But it really is looking at the creative process and problem solving, and it matches up with a whole lot of other ideas. Uh, the Hero's Journey from Joseph Campbell being a main one. I'm not going to talk about that now. I just want to get across the main idea of what the quad is and how it works. So I'm going to go through these slides real quick and just um, give you a, a real quick idea. It is very simple and that's one of the great things about it. And like I said, my name's David Bourne. That slide's out of order. Um, the Creator Quad is what I call it. And uh, I'll be showing you a graphic because it's so much easier to understand. But I want to go through these four different quads real quick. So the first quad, the most important quad, I think, where we start is the idea of truth. Like uh, a lot of it has to do with identity and what we believe and whether or not we're capable of doing something. For example, can I write a book? Um, I'm not sure I really believe that statement 100%. Um, but... I'm going to have faith and move forward. So I go into the next, the next quad, which is the uh, potential quad. And that's where I start asking questions. And I say, well, what, what kind of potential is there here with this idea? And what have other people done? Have other people written books? Uh, yeah, a lot. So that's good. Uh, do I have the tools to do it? Yep. Yeah. Do I have the intelligence to do it? Probably. Do I have the umph? I don't know, but we'll see. And so we start taking some action. And that, this is um, probably, some would argue, the most important quad. I think that the, the first one, the truth, is the most important. But this one is super important, the action quad. The things we do really make a difference. And then after we uh, take some action, we get results. And then we complete the circle and we go, um, and we complete the circle again. So it's, we start out at truth and then we go into um, potential and action and results again. So I'm gonna switch over to the uh, iPad, but I'm gonna show you real quick this main idea, these beliefs and actions greatly affect results. This is the main idea of the quad, of the creator quad. So be thinking of that. Beliefs and actions greatly affect your results. So this is how this works. Now let me switch over to the iPad. So here I am on the iPad and I'm gonna, this is my first time doing this, so. You can take just a simple sheet of paper and draw a uh, four quadrants, turn it sideways and draw four quadrants. And so remember at, at the top here we have truth. And another word that's very helpful is what do we believe? So our beliefs, our truths and our beliefs live up here. This is sort of the, uh, this is the, the, the place where we really want to be. This is the peaceful place. So this is where we have peace. We have equilibrium, right? We have uh, this. This could. I'm not going to say status quo, but this is this is where we start. And so usually, what happens is a problem occurs, and then we go into this next phase. So the potential phase. We usually are dealing with some kind of problem, like. I got to write a book and I got to do it by December. 
that's a problem. How am I going to do this? Well, what are my resources? What are the possibilities? What can I do to make this work? So uh, thankfully, we live in a time and in, in a country, I'm in the United States, where there are many, many possibilities. So I feel very blessed about that. And so, I, um, you know, uh, th this is where you explore a lot. This is where you ask a lot of questions. And, and once you decide what you're going to do, then you move into the next phase, which is the action phase. So here in action, like I said before, it really matters how you take action. Uh, in general, you want to take a lot of quick actions to uh, to get that forward momentum going. Remember, we're going forward here. And uh, the more action we take, the more we learn and the faster things happen. So the more we learn is this quadrant down here, your results. And once we evaluate the results, you know, we, we take a little rest in here after, after all this action in this other quad. We rest and then we, uh, we, we also reflect. It's a lot of R words I've, I'm learning. Um, then we decide, well, you know what? I learned a lot in those actions and I think maybe I can write a book. So we move in to the next, uh, the next section again, and we start all over. And maybe we work on the next part. Um, so what's super helpful here is just knowing that our beliefs. I wonder if I can change colors real quick. That would be helpful. Where's my color marker? Color. This is a whole different. Pen, in fact, I don't know that I want that. I gotta learn how to use this tool. Something else to learn. Click, click. I like red. Doesn't look red. Why not? Oh, sorry. I'm gonna go back to the other tool. See, I'm learning. This is how you learn. Take actions and you learn. So, um, these two really influence each other a lot. I like the way that overlays. So, the truth and your beliefs. How does that work? Well, whatever we believe leads to the actions we take, right? Um, that's super important. And the actions we take really affect our beliefs and our truths greatly. So that is the main takeaway that I want you to know uh, about this. Now, there's so many other parts of this that are just fascinating to me, particularly when you start talking about the uh, hero's journey, because just real quick, I'll show you. So we got the hero here, he's in peace. And then he's got a problem. And then he takes action. And who does he meet here? He meets the resistance. Artists know about the resistance, right? So the resistance, which is our villain uh, and all his minions, he, he has to battle with them somehow or struggle with them or, you know, he's got to win. He's got to, uh, maybe he gets a guide. You know, maybe a guide shows up somewhere in here and eventually uh, he's going to get he. I've been saying he. Of course, it can be she. Uh, he or she can get the, the results um, that uh, he's looking for. And then he takes those results and brings them back to the community with something that Joseph Campbell called a boon. So it was the gift. It's what we learned. It's what we did that's helpful. And so this creator quad system is not only about cre creativity. It's about just human progress. We can look at the scientific method fits in this same pattern. We can also look at nature and see that winter, winter here, spring, summer, and fall. And then, of course, that starts all over again. We can look, what is it turning into a mess? We've got north and south and east and west. That sometimes works, um, but we've got the four directions of, uh, of the universe. Uh, the Native American indigenous cultures can teach us something about all that. Um, maybe I can undo some of this. So anyway, I wanted you to just see that this is such a powerful system 
and I'm going to be talking about it more. This is the first video I've done. So speaking of the quad, this is my first big action talking about this. I can see that I got a lot to learn and a lot to do uh, right. That I did a lot right, but I did a lot wrong too. So I just want you to see that this is something that could be beneficial to you as you look at your own creative processes. Maybe you're writing a book. Maybe you are writing a podcast to support your book. Maybe you're doing a video series like me. So I'm taking all these actions. So I'm going backwards. By the way, going backwards, you can do that too. Uh, it's not much fun. Human beings are not designed to go backwards. So I do not recommend it. But I will challenge you finally to take an action. At the end of this video, I will suggest that you, like I, start with a blank sheet of paper and ask yourself, what is the truth that I'm seeking? What is my potential? What actions can I take? Start really small. And then reflect on your results. And then see who you are, what you've learned, what gifts you can bring to the community with your ideas, with your creative process, with your um, just, you know, what can you bring to others through this? That's why we do this stuff, right? We don't do it just for us. We really do it to make change in the world. So the Creator Quad, stay tuned to this channel, and I will hopefully be able to teach you more about this system. So thanks. Again, I'm David Bourne, and you can find me at David Bourne. Dot com. I have a slide for that. So, take care, do good work, and I'll see you. See you out there.